Hello friends, this is an office complex building design review. All right, so you are welcome to this review. I am self reason. And so this structure was actually carried out using a varying anchorage foundation level. So you can see how the anchorage of the foundation varies, okay? And the variations in height of the foundations is 3, three meters, all right? It was due to the undulations of the ground level. The team of the engineers come up with this method of foundations. We are we will have a difference in height of the foundations in terms of the horizontal and the vertical based on how complex city the undulations of the earth was. And after uh, we, we are able to come up with this, I was able to carry out this design successfully using Prota Structure 2021. All right. And by the side of the structure, these provisions we will have to provide a retaining wall here yeah, and also a retaining wall here yeah, because the height of the ground here yeah, is higher than the height of the ground in this particular structure. And then this is the lowest height. Okay. And then the plan level of these provisions is quite uh, large, all right, compared to the plan level of these uh, structures successfully. So, how do I do this? This has to do with you user defined define support. It has to deal with user defined support, whereby you have to define your own support, okay, and then assign it to the respective columns members successfully. I have define that and have assign it to all of these uh, reinforced concrete uh, columns. For instance, if I should select this, so one, and then I hit on this delete options to delete that. And then if I want to insert the part base once more, I will select the columns. And again, I must be on the storage zero level to be able to insert the part base. However, I you will be okay you must come to story zero to be able to inside the part base so i have up to five stories of these structures okay so i will navigate to this story zero right there and then select the foundations columns this one right click and then i'll select the insert part footings this one and so you see the part footings is being calculated all the checks as passed design successfully now the LS is 2 meter and then the LY is 2.1 meter. I want to square this. What do I do? I have to first square it for things for design. Select this option. It is still not changed, so you have to click on design. So once you click on design, it's been designed. It has changed to 2.1 by 2.1 LS and LY successfully. Click on OK to insert the foundations. So you can see it's been inserted successfully in that provisions. But in these other structures, I will choose to use a floating raft for this design floating raft. All right, this is a floating raft. If maybe we will be having any need for a support uh, part 14, we can insert it as well. Support part 14, select that and click on the insert part 14. And you can see this is 2.6 by 2.8. It is because of this uh, large, it is because of this large footing size that uh, we, the team of the engineer decided that we should use a floating raft for that particular uh, office building. All right, so if I should squeeze this now and then I click on the design. Okay, this is 2.8 by 2.8. This is quite large. Okay, if I click on the okay, provisions, you have it inserted just like this. All right, so this is how you can successfully assign support and design very Anchorage foundation level, just like the descent and applicable to the, the difference in height here is 3 meter. This office complex and this one, the difference in height is 3 meter. And this one, the difference is also a 3 meter as well. Okay. So the same thing applicable here, if I should delete this one right there, and then I select the column back again as to insert the part for this again, select that successfully. We are having 1.7 by 1.7 design successfully. Or the checkers pass okay options to insert that just like this okay so this is 
Pre-tax Structure 2021. And this is very, this uh, program, this program version is very, very effective in terms of uh, reinforced concrete members and as well as steel members design successfully. All right. So this is what we will be enjoying in the membership program. I want to encourage us to join the membership programs as we'll be enjoying most of these designs and complex settings and most of the software we've used for our civil engineering structure successfully. And so I want to appreciate you for staying to the review and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channels of reason as I hope to bring this up on how I fully carry out the design. Stay tuned and stay connected. See you in the next lesson and bye for now.